questions for person with Down syndrome. Everyone have one question, what makes doctor us? Unfortunately, this question is packed with special need and a Down syndrome. Every parent forget about if they have a special or normal kid. They have this question with them. But unfortunately, we tag with this special needs. And trust me, if you think that you are the god of your child and they don't have life after us, so we have example Veda here. It's good that the biological parent left him, left her, and she's with the parent who are taking care of her in a proper way. If you think the, la the people with Down syndrome, they don't have options or opportunity for employment, so we have Divya just sitting here. She's working independently in a corporate sector from last couple of years. She is a national award winner too. We have a color who is a yoga trainer. We have many self-advocates who are doing this work. They are living their life independently without additional support. This is because of their parents are aware and they know what they have, what actions they have to do with them, what options they need to make them accessible for them. Livelihood means a way of life. It is defined as a set of activities performed to lead for a given lifespan, involving securing water, food, medicine, shelter, clothing, and the capacity to acquire above necessity working either individually or as a group. The main important thing is the livelihood depends on the availability and accessibility. When we think about the livelihood option for a person with a Down syndrome, please check what are the options available for them, what options we are exploring for them. Do you think education is the only way they will get the employment? Even the normal kids, they are not getting the employment after they have the engineering degree or um, MBA degrees. So what for the person with the Down syndrome? Livelihood starts when the child bonds. It's not start at the age of 15. Because we created a platform for ourselves, so the parents was not bothered about us, that the, what extra care they need to give for us. We went to school, then colleges, there was a counselor available who can help us what career we choose. And after, a com uh, and for, after company, we got the off-campus or a placement from the colleges. But this platform is not available for a person with a Down syndrome. We have to create this platform. These are the pre-checks that is important for every person with a Down syndrome, every person with a special need. We need to understand acceptance is required and we need a disability certificate. What are the importance of a disability certificate? How to get the disability certificate? I understand few parents say it's not easy to get the disability certificate. But why don't you question why we are not getting the disability certificate for a genetic disorder? For the a disorder which has no cure, we have a chromosome report. It's a chromosome disorder. Why we are not questioning them? How to deal with this situation? Do you ever find the solution to which if the doctors are saying no, to whom we need to approach, it comes under which ministry? Uh, then if the ministry is not responding, social justice ministry is not responding, to whom you need to approach, National Human Rights Commission is there. What is the importance of National Human Rights Commission? It's for the every it's for the right of every life, no matter it's a child or an adult. It's a special need or a normal. Write an email to the National Human Rights Commission, ask them we are not getting the disability certificate for my child who is having a Down syndrome or a genetic disorder. We are giving up. If somebody say no, we are accepting. We think that it's our fault to have a special need child. No, it's not our fault. We have a child just like our other child. We need to just give an extra care, like an extra chromosome for our child. If you don't have a disability certificate, you will not get the UDID card. It's a unique disability ID card. Please uh, look in the way, uh, like a normal kid need a birth certificate, normal kid need a Aadhaar card, insurance policies, Guardian till the age of 18, mental health, schooling, and the policies. Same way, special need need a uh, special pre-checks like disability certificate, UDID card, insurance policies. We have insurance policy. Government are providing the insurance policy. Just because of the lack of awareness, we are not availing those gains, profits. We are not availing the services. Insurance. Solomon and Niramaya. Solomon policy for the people who have their annual income less than three lakh rupees. Niramaya is for the rest of the parents. 
and it's easily available. We have to pay 500 rupees premium. Even in few states, government are paying the premium. When I asked Madhya Pradesh government in last year, how many cases, how many means, how much amount you have reimbursed in as a part of an Aramaya policy, they said we didn't receive a single application from the parent. We are not aware of it, but yes, we are first in that we don't have facilities, we don't have support system. <coughs> Parents are just thinking that uh, our child cannot do anything and they are just uh, looking for some alternate which is not going to help them in sustainable and in creating the livelihood options. Legal guardianship. Every child above 18 when turns to an adult require a guardian. What is by default till the age of 18, parents are guardian for every child, despite of a special need or a normal child. But after 18, when it comes to adult, they are responsible for all their actions. That time we need a legal guardianship. There is a legal guardianship agreement, there is a form. Why it is important in case if my son turns uh, adult and unwillingly or mistakenly he done something wrong, so he will be put behind the bars. He will be treated as a normal child. So to help him, to make others uh, understand that he cannot take certain decisions. It happened because of a mistake or he is not aware of it. That legal guardianship agreement helps the child. Legal guardian can be parents, can be a third person. Legal guardianship agreement you can make for a temporary or you can make for permanent till the lifetime. You can put certain conditions as well. There is no extra cost involved in making a legal guardianship agreement. But we are not aware of it. Most of the parents are not aware of it. And yes, we are saying we don't have opportunities, we don't have a livelihood options. Mental health. Right of person with disability act is different and there is another mental health act is there. Please read about what is mental health act. Because the bus, if we have a someone in our family who is a special need, so we need to know what is the mental health act and how this mental health act will help our child. Last year I gave a presentation on the bills. So people were asking, the will can be challenged in the court. Anyone can challenge the will. No, nobody can challenge the will if you make the will properly. If you know what is mental health act, if you take the concerns from the psychiatrist, that we are making this will and our, with our mental condition is okay, nobody can challenge that will. Every parent faces a problem of a depression. Depression is not a mentally retarded condition, it's a mental illness. It's a temporary condition that may happen with anyone for that we don't need someone with a special need in our family or a life. Every parent faces this problem of a depression if they then overcome then the child faces this problem and their siblings and the complete family. We need to know what is mental health, how it plays an important role when we have some other special needs child and how to deal with the situation. NIOS, National Institute of Open Schooling. If you don't have the disability card, you will not get this scribe for NIOS. Scribe means reading and writing. You will not get any help. So NIOS also provide the vocational trainings, but uh, unfortunately we don't have uh, proper centers in our country uh, where we have uh, all those facilities, but on the other side the parents have never highlighted this issue. The curriculum for in NIOS is same for a normal child and for a special needs child. Ideally it should not be same when we talk about the special needs child, but we are not highlighting this points because even we are not aware of what is an IOS. What is the importance of an IOS and even you have an option to select the subject in an IOS. It all depends on your ability, the capability of a child, you can appear in the exams. State policies, every state has certain policies like uh, uh, monthly stipends for a special need but you need to have a disability certificate for it. You need to have a UDID card for it, then only you can avail the stipends what the government is giving. Every state has different protocols, different policies. Few are making 1500, few are paying 1000, 1000 rupees a month. And even they are giving an opportunity to the parents, to the adults to start their startups. They give uh, uh, the loan of 30 lakh rupees with uh, 
Um, the rate of interest is, I think, 6% per annum. So we have the policies in place, but we are not availing those policies. We are only looking for, we are not putting extra efforts, and we are only going in the flow that our child should get education, get a degree, and after it, we will plan for a livelihood. Livelihood starts from the child birth. Even for a normal child at the age of 15 or 18, you cannot decide that a child should go in a, a medical or a engineering field or in a scientist. They have to start at the age of 5. So why not for the person with a special need? Food and daily routine plays an important role in our life as well. Yes, it is important for a child with a Down syndrome and special need. I just read this point for you unless you people are aware of it. Adding sugar is a disaster. Unprocessed food is healthiest. There is no perfect diet for everyone. They find carbohydrates are bad for you. Eating vegetables will improve your health. It is critical to avoid vitamin D deficiency. Even we have the vitamin D deficiency. But when it comes to the special need, we are unnecessarily bothering and saying this because he is a special need having a vitamin D deficiency. It's no. We don't know how to solve these problems, these issues. Supplements can never fulfill replace real foods. Diet don't work, a lifestyle change is necessary. Omega-3 packs are crucial and most people don't get enough. Artificial transfers are very unhealthy and should be avoided. Lifestyle plays an important role. Now, uh, most of the parents, they are more concerned uh, where are the residential homes for our kids, where are the hostels. We want to put our child in a hostel or a residential places. Then what next? We don't have a proper residential project for Down syndrome in India as of now. And before to putting our child in a residential project, we should know uh, how it is going to their life there. Means how they are going to survive. They are going to treat properly every now. Means we should think that we have a child with Down syndrome. They are more loving, caring. If we love a 10 person, they will give you 100 person. They are they born with certain talent. They are good in music, they are good in instrument playing, there are many self advocates we saw in the last two days. They are doing extremely well, even we can't do that. Even they 